Hey everybody, I think now is just as good a time as any to show you some shit that I've got a couple, maybe a month ago. Uh, let's start things off with, ooh, shoot, I messed that up already. Let's start this off with some animation cells. This is, to me, this is pretty cool. Uh... Here we go with uh, Masters of the Universe, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Uh, I've been wanting to buy animation cells for a while. And uh, especially uh, uh, Transformers and G.I. Joe, that shit is totally out of reach at this point. But uh, He-Man is kind of still within range in availability. So I figured I'd pick something up. Here we go with um, He-Man and Teela. This is a great looking Teela right here. Awesome looking. And I wanted a full body of uh, of uh, He-Man as well. Now, the ones that I had been looking at beforehand, um, they were really nice. Here's some more. Here's some actual... Uh, what the hell is this? These are preliminary sketches or something like that. Now, these are from the actual TV show. And um, I knew I wanted to get, you know, at least He-Man. Oh, man, here's a really good-looking Teela right here. That is awesome looking. These are preliminary sketches that um, the artist used to make the cells, cells from, animation cells from. Look at that. That is awesome looking. So I knew I wanted to get at least He-Man, Teela, love Teela, and uh, Skeletor. So here we go. And I actually have some more, some more sketches, but I'll show those off probably at a later time. How about during the Toy Chess video? How about that? The next Toy Chess video. That should be sometime in... Sometime probably early April. All right. I'll tell you what. Some more trade bait here. Some more freaking trade bait. Ah. I have uh, a couple of copies of the first appearance of Black Mask. Like a $60 book. I want to trade something good for that. And I have also... What else do I have here? I have, uh, boo, boo, boo. ooh, sweet, here we go, got two copies of Preacher number one, oh, I can't believe I found these, so I probably, which, I gotta find out which one is the higher grade copy and trade the lesser grade one, so, uh, I'll figure that out soon enough, no big deal, I love trade bait, I'm just like having multiple copies of shit some more trade bait here we go with uh number two and number 13 some more 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 all right let's do this let's get back let's get back into the uh, comic book hall shall we um not a, i don't think a lot of you know nothing major major but i would still suggest you pay attention here we go with uh, Batty Man from the New 52. Uh, now this one, uh, number 28, came out, what, last month or something like that? Came out early this month or last month? I don't know. But uh, this is like the near future story. It, is, is Year Zero over with yet? God, I, whew, I can't stand that. I can't, man, I can't stand the origin of a superhero. Retelling of an origin of a superhero? Oh, Ugh, that's so annoying. But anyway, uh, this is a but this is a good book to have. This is the uh, Comic Pro RRP variant. This is the retailer incentive book. This book is a this bitch is expensive. I'm trying not to swear so much. This bad boy is expensive. Um, easily, um, I want to say easily, easily a sixty five dollar book. I got two of these. I found two. And I got both of them for ten dollars a piece. They were just sitting there, and I'm just like, uh, "Why are these just here? Am, am I seeing this correctly?" And uh, sure enough, these are the 
uh, retailer incentive variants, the black and white retailer incentive variants. Sixty-five dollar book. Uh, the here the first appearance of Harper Rowe as her little superhero character, and the first appearance of Stephanie Brown in the uh, New Fifty Two. So, uh, great great book to have, especially the uh, variant. Some more Batty Man. Uh, some Year Zero. Even though I hate Year Zero. I love this cover, Batty Man, number 24. This is uh, the homage cover to Detective number 27. I had been I had been looking at this book for a while, for a couple of months, and you know I kept balking at buying it. But then it's just like you know what I got to go ahead and get this. I have to go ahead and buy this book. So uh, I bought it. It was like what twenty five dollars, including the cost of shipping. It, this is an eBay purchase, a very rare eBay purchase. So, um, but a great looking cover. I could not pass this up because um, before it gets out of hand, because I can see this book uh, gaining in value just off of the cover alone, and the fact that it's a, a Comic Con, a New York Comic Con exclusive cover. You know, it could it, this can easily turn into like a fifty dollar book just like that. So I'm glad I got it for the price I did. Got it in like a couple of days after ordering it. So hell's yeah, baby. That's what we do. That's what we do here. That is what we do. I'm trying to thumb through books. That's I'm, I'm stalling with singing. Uh, you know what? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look who found himself another copy of Dread Underbelly. I saw it for cover price. I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'll buy it. Why not? I found another copy. And what else do I? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, all right. Let's let's do this. Let's get here. Okay, now here we go with. Um, I noticed some people are really high on these um, amazing or just Spider-Man in general, Spidey books uh, with a J. Scott Campbell. Uh, cover with a female character on it like uh, Mary Jane so we have uh, Maiden, Pita Man uh, number 51 and uh, 52 uh, I, I noticed uh, you know I think in a, in a few videos that people are collecting these so I'm like okay why not and I happened to find uh, number uh, 152 of Ultimate Spider-Man, J. Scott Campbell cover with uh, Black Cat. That, that, that titty's about to pop out. Homegirl need to zip up. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Ooh, here we go. This Here's something really cool. And I'm not sure how much these books are going for, before I get to the next books. I'm not sure how really how much these are going for, but I noticed that they're starting, starting 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 to heat up a little bit so and i got these for close to cover price so i think even close even i think even cheaper than that so uh real happy to have uh picked these up so glad to have found them okay drax the destroyer number one you know what before i even get to that how about we get to young avengers presents number six uh hawkeye now i was watching district 12's video on um on this book here i'm like oh this is this is pretty interesting this is uh matt fraction's first work on hawkeye now clint barton does make an appearance in this book i read the issue first off the art in this is ridiculous alan davis alan davis is that the artist from from the 80s he did um he did X-Men. He worked on X-Men. He worked on like a, a huge run of Excalibur. Um, this guy is an amazing artist. His work, his art style hasn't diminished at all. His he's he's still at the top of his game as far as I'm concerned. His art is gorgeous, super. Um, I read this issue. It's a it's a really it's a kind of you know kind of like a, a teen teen soap opera type thing with a lot of action in it. So. It's a real fun issue to read. Um, Clint Barton does make an appearance. So, like I said, this is um, Matt Fraction's first work on Hawkeye. So, uh, a great book to have. For me, this was tough as shit to find. Uh, I didn't want to buy it from eBay at all because they have prices listed at like 
uh, 20 bucks and 15 and all that kind of shit. I wanted to buy it as close to cover price as possible. So um, I did some hunting. I found it. I think this is in probably near mint minus condition. There's like a little tiny ding right there. Other than that, a uh, really good looking book. And um, yeah, it's a, oh my God. I, I'm really happy to just find it just because, you know, if there's a book on your list and you find it, you're relieved. So um, great looking cover, great, even better interiors. Honestly, I wish the, uh, I like Jimmy Chung's art, but I don't know. I kind of wish Alan Davis had actually done the cover too. So, but great book to have. Uh, a little for me, it was tough to find. It was tough as shit to find. Okay, now we're back on Drax the Destroyer. Okay, now uh, as he is presented in Iron Man number fifty-five, um, he has he kind of has like the traditional kind of seventies disco looking. Uh, superhero garb on he has the cape he has the high collar he has like the tight uh weird looking spandex deal going on and somehow and i noticed all of a sudden he be, he had become this he started looking like this bruiser you know what i mean he started wearing jeans had his shirt off and he had like all these red tattoos and shit like that and I'm like, what What happened to Drax? He doesn't have the flair. You know what I mean? He used to fly around. He used to have beams coming out of his hands and shit like that. And uh, and this tells, in this story right here from 2005, this tells the story of how he uh, acquired all that stuff. So I think, I think. I haven't read these issues yet. But um, we have uh, number two, a great looking Thanos cover. Terrific looking Thanos cover. Number three, and oddly enough, oddly enough, the hardest one to find is number four for some odd reason. Um, everywhere I looked, I noticed the first three issues were available and they were available at a very decent price. But number four was always missing or number four was like around 20 bucks or something like that. So. Um, I'm really happy to find, have found this, uh, four issue set, all four issues. So, uh, yeah, especially number four, number four is tough to find and I, I'm not quite sure why, but, uh, yeah, I'm glad to have it. Yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Okay. Let's go to the, uh, underrated book alert, underrated book alert. Okay. Here we go with Marvel team up. Number 65, um, Spider-Man and Captain Britain. Neither of these, neither of these is the reason why I'm pegging this for an underrated book alert. It's, uh, the character inside the book who's not featured on the cover. Um, I was thumbing around like, uh, X-Men issues from the early 80s, late 70s, around that time, and I saw the character Arcade on the cover, and I decided, you know, to, I whipped out the phone, uh, wikipedia Arcade, and, um, it said that his first appearance is in Marvel Team-Up number 65, so I immediately went to Marvel Team-Up and found number 65, and I got this book for, like, three bucks. This is in, you know, it's in really, really nice shape. In really great shape, as a matter of fact. So, got it for three bucks. First appearance of Arcade is in here. And he was like a main villain uh, throughout the X-Men's... You know, he, he, you know he, was a, he was a really, really uh, key villain. And he's, he's kind of disappeared, you know. But, I mean, all the potential is there to make a comeback. And, um, and when you're thinking about... I tell you what, here's, um, here's actually his, his cover appearance right there. He doesn't actually look like that. He's uh he kind of he looks normal. This is kind of like his funhouse mirror image. But um in in number 66 is the first appearance of the murder world. Um you'll uh, once you start reading up on um on on arcade, you'll you'll see, you'll see. But this is a great villain in at a time and age now in comic book collecting where every first appearance is being snatched up, every first appearance is being hoarded, go on ahead and uh, pick up Marvel Team-Up number 65 and 66. Um, I, I, you won't go wrong. You shouldn't pay more than five bucks, honestly. In my opinion, you shouldn't pay more than five. So 
great, great, great books to have. All right. Ooh, I found myself another copy of DC Comics Presents number 47. This is like a reader copy, so no big deal. Um, there's a bunch of spine ticks. There's a crease over there. So this is probably in fine minus shape. So no big deal. Um, this is a reader copy. I got it for six bucks. I'm prob pretty sure I could probably get more than that for it. So happy to have uh, Venom number 17. This, this is a significant issue. I saw it in someone's video. Um, uh, uh, but uh this is like the first appearance of like a group or something like that in venom number 17 so um i think i got this for like a dollar so um uh, happy hunting on venom number 17 i i wish i could uh, provide you with more info on it but everything is slipping me right now okay here we go with incredible hulk number 12 number 212 first appearance of the constrictor um, I saw this. Uh, I saw this in a couple of videos, so I've just figured, eh, I'll go out and buy it. And it was, and it was really cheap, not an expensive issue. It's a great looking cover. This is a terrific looking cover. Um, it should be worth just way more than that, uh, way more than the five bucks that I paid for just off of the cover. So great looking cover. And I, be last but not least, because I don't see any of the comics around. Uh, Supergirl number one. I'm a little nasally because I really have to blow my nose right now. But uh, Supergirl number one. This is the second print Mike Turner variant. This is a great look. At, another rare eBay purchase. I have two rare eBay purchases in the same video. But uh, I really wanted this cover. I'm glad. To have, I think I paid like nine bucks total for it. So um, really great buy. Uh, the late great Michael Turner. So, yeah, good uh, goodbye, good haul, I think. You know, nothing major, but like I said, but um, some really, really good issues going on here. So I hope you guys paid attention, and uh, thanks for watching, and I believe I will see you ne next time. All right, bye.